Welcome to the Race Safe H2O training video. To begin, we'll show a brief installation of the unit to an existing fitting kit. The unit is connected to the mount by the adjustable knuckle. The blue connector is marked Wi-Fi and must be connected to the appropriate aerial lead. Middle green connector is marked GPS. Yellow connector is marked Iridium. It is important to note that this connector is a left hand or reverse thread. Unless directed, the red cap GSM connector will not be used. Plug the power lead in carefully, making sure not to force pins if misaligned. Note that there may be variations of connector plugs. Once the correct position, allowing maximum visibility has been found, the unit ball and clamp must be tightened firmly to minimise any form of movement in competition. The unit is now properly connected and will boot up, running initial tests and acquiring satellite lock. The unit will display this screen awaiting event commencement. Trip meters, clock and speed, displayed in miles per hour, are now active. Course time is displayed at the centre of the screen. Directly below that is the distance travelled into the course. Below this is the speed the boat is currently travelling. The right hand column shows boat number, synchronised satellite time, a resettable trip meter, which is reset by pressing the white button below, and average speed between checkpoints. The display brightness can be adjusted by pressing the centre two buttons as marked, but please ensure maximum brightness is selected during the daylight hours. 10 minutes prior to race start, the unit will automatically display a countdown timer. The unit will display the boat's start time, the current time, a countdown timer, and the boat's grid position. In the event that a start is cancelled, or there is a hold, the unit will display this screen. When a new start time is issued, the unit will revert back to the countdown screen. At the completion of the countdown, as soon as you reach race speed, the unit will go into stage mode. Trips and average speed will be reset, and your course time will begin. The blue on stage panel will be displayed to the left side of the screen. For boats competing in the speed restricted classes, the unit will display this message when you exceed the allowed speed. The message will cancel when you've returned to the designated speed. Note that speeds are recorded and sent to race control. If you go below a predetermined speed on course, the unit will transmit a slow boat warning to following competitors. The receiving boat will be advised of their distance to you. If you have an incident while in competition, the unit will go into hazard mode and instantly begin transmitting to race control and following boats. The hazard will display in the centre of the screen, with upgrade and downgrade options to either side. There are three hazard types, OK, Hazard and SOS. If you do not need emergency assistance and the boat is off course and not impeding normal racing, please select OK by pressing the button below. If you do not need emergency assistance, but the boat is on course, ski is still in the water, or the course is otherwise affected, leave it as transmitting the hazard option. Note this is automatically selected as soon as the boat stops on course. If you are just coming around to pick up a skier, leave the hazard option transmitting. This will revert to the normal screen when you get back up to race speed. If you need emergency assistance, select the SOS option. Once SOS has been selected, this can be further confirmed and refined by selecting either fire or medical assistance. This lets race control know the type of incident to respond appropriately. Crew should also wave the required medical flags. If you're the first boat on scene, make sure you also set your unit to the appropriate hazard. This gives race control invaluable confirmation of earlier messages sent, or in the event of catastrophic destruction of a unit, will alert race control to the situation. At the end of a stage, the unit will display the course time as well as the distance travelled and average speed. Pressing the option button will bring up a further screen which will list all stage, marked S, 
and transit T times collected since the unit was powered up. Scroll through stages with the next and prev options. This screen also gives you the ability to send a manual hazard by pressing the send hazard button with the same upgrade or downgrade options as shown earlier. Press either center button to cancel. If at any time the unit loses power, it will display a red power lost warning at the top of the screen. The units are equipped with internal batteries. However, these can only charge when connected to power. So it is important they are kept powered up at all times to prevent the battery from draining. At the completion of the event, or in the case of early retirement, please remember to disconnect the unit's aerial and power leads and return it to the race safe H2O tent. If you have any questions about race safe H2O, please come and see us at the event or drop us an email.